But yeah, looks like we've got some new fresh blood coming up to play. Now, uh, I've seen, uh, I forget what his tag is, but uh, player to my, to the right, to the right is a, is a Ness player, and he's playing, going to turn for a little bit now. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure who the second player is. I guess we'll find out real soon. Right. But, you know, I want to talk about you real quick, Dino. This oh, is your man. last Georgia tournament before you yeah. move to Orlando. How it do you is. feel? You know, it's my breakout tournament. Dude, dude. this is breakout I've tournament. I've been sandbagging for the past four years, so that way I could come to this moment and actually play my best. Oh, man, is he trying to get a sponsor shot? Oh, he's trying to get a sponsor. Oh, man, he's trying to get sponsored. Sponsorships? Like, what, what kind of, what, what does he got? I can't, I can't tell. The light's, the light's man, all in the way. Man, it looks like, I think is that, which oh. one of us has astigmatism? Nope, that's the wrong one. Proactive, oh. that's what I'm thinking Is of. it proactive? Dude, he's trying to get that proactive subscription. Oh, man. It's kind of working, honestly. I'd buy it. Just because of that. Just because of that. Man, that Dang. was solid. Beautiful. Dude. Well, um, man, I'm going to be honest. Mark, I think Miles needs to turn up your mic. For real? Hey, Miles. I got it. I got it. Miles. Miles. Rico, get, get Miles. Turn up my mic if you turn it up. We can't really hear it. All right, speak a little bit. All right, check one, two. Check, check, check one, two. It made it worse. It made it worse. Oh. Wait, <laughs> let me see. Uh, well, that's... Check, check, yeah, check. I can't hear you at all. Miles. I can't hear him at all. Okay. Oh, I'm just uh, gonna keep talking. Just keep best, talking, dude. Uh, Miles, the superhero, is gonna just. You just keep talking, dude. I'm just gonna do the best I can here. Uh, maybe. Oh, oh. oh here we go. Oh, okay. Up oh. now, kind of. Okay. We. Oh yeah. Wait. Let's let's hear it, Mark. Check. Check one two. Oh, check. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. You, right. All right. You're good, Miles. You do your thing. So maybe I've been speaking to a fishbowl these past couple uh these past couple of minutes now. So if if that is the case, I'm sorry we were having technical difficulties. That's okay. But dang, dude, what is your what's been your fondest memory of these past four years of playing Smash in Georgia, man? This is good. Fondest memories. I really think my fondest memories. Are two things was, wow, there's a lot. Was going to tournaments with my brother. 2015, 2016, and then all the Athens Smash Fest. Oh yeah, yeah dude! Like those, those were are those were some of my fondest memories too. Yep. And I miss it. I miss it. Like Athens, the Athens scene has just become so big. Yeah. But there's a part of me that misses the good old days of just going to your place, me eating all the pizza, and us staying up. All the and, pizza, dude. dude! All the pizza, and us just staying playing like until un until ungodly hours. I remember we played from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Like multiple times and it yeah. was insane. I remember specifically a time where we had a, a smash press from 6, a 6 p.m. and I made y'all leave at, six, or at 5 a.m. and then I went to work at 6 a.m. Oh yeah, I remember that too. And oh that my gosh. Was the worst day of work <laughs> of my whole life. I remember asking you about like, dude, Dino, are you, are you alive right now? And you were like, no. <laughs> why, why did you ask me that question? Yeah, luckily I had someone. Gamer Goo. Oh, that's smart. Have you had a Gamer Goo? I have not. It's literally like, I saw it. I'm actually going to get this for Blake for oh, his birthday. Oh, Gamer Goo? Isn't that the goo that like, you put on your hands to stop sweating? Yeah. Oh, and it works, dude. Okay. I okay. tried it at, uh, at Momocon, and it was solid. Like, my hands, it wasn't like dry and like crackly, but they just didn't sweat the whole time. Oh man, that's insane, but it was awesome. So um, we got Snake versus Lucas. I, uh, I know a little bit about this matchup, so hopefully I can be as some assistance. Absolutely. So as a resident Snake, uh, Snake Man, what yeah, do you have the, to worry uh, about? As the fourth best snake in Georgia, uh, I can confidently say that the screen's frozen. I can't tell what's going on. Yeah, neither can I. But um, we, we can see the players easy. Hold on, let's, let's I'm, see. I'm hearing some. Uh, I'm hearing some things. Um, um, it's a little frozen. It sounds like no one's died yet. So I think we're good. And oh, here man, we are. And we haven't even matched. 101 to 82. All right. So Bones right here 
with Snake. The default color got him off stage. Interesting back throw. Not gonna take. We it heavy. Out. We're very heavy yep. at Snake. Got a lot of snake. Uh oh, back throw. Uh, okay, good. Good the grenade throw to get back on stage. All right. Uh -oh, just waiting for that explosion, but didn't quite get it. Ooh. I saw his animation too. He was going for the up tilt, but he got that forward tilt. Before yeah, we are still living. Bones doing it all, and well, yeah. Rayito just went up and did it. Dude. Just asking for like literally just Down speaking throw? it into existence here. But Rayo needs to do it. Oh, well, okay. Up tilt Man, I was just gonna. I was about to say like he needs to start playing a little bit further away so he can not catch this up tilt, but. Just nares right in and catches a fat yep. up tilt in the face. And uh, something that you'll notice is like, earlier, Bones just tried. He went, uh, did down tilt and then automatic forward tilt. Uh, and with a lot of characters, that actually is true. Um, and right, Ooh, so, but we have an SD. Uh oh. Um, but a lot of. What was I trying to say? Yeah, a lot of characters you can actually do, you know, like with Snake's frame. Tri uh, down throw grab, you can at 160, or actually it's 159. You can Very down throw. You can down throw to up tilt, and it's true. But with a lot of characters at different percents, and depending on which side you lay, you lay them down on, you can do down throw to forward tilt. He just which, healed all of that off, by the way. That yeah, was bad. That's great. That's, I think that's going to be right to the game right now. He's just healing the ton. Uh oh. That's rough. Wow. Ooh. That was looking Bones real nice. He's, he's missing absorbing the grenades just by a second. He's, yep. he's bringing them into him instead of uh, just waiting for the explosion to suck them in to heal yep. himself. And Bones is right where he wants to be. Snake just wrecks from. Uh... Oh, okay. Ooh. But right, we're still living. He's if healing off percent. Any character for Rita to come back with, it's Lucas right now. Absolutely. Gets hit with C4 there. Gets hit with C4 again. And that's kind of risky. Bones is kind of going for all these all these explosions. Doesn't quite need to, and kind of risks healing Raito, but I think he's just he's just gonna go for it. Yeah. I feel like at this point he's just playing really confidently. Like he's snake, he's heavy, he's not gonna die. He's got grenades that like he's seen that Raito is missing getting the heals from his just regular grenades. What and oh he must have side beat. Oh I see. And just got off stage. Uh, it's two unfortunate SDs from Raito here. Yeah, very unfortunate SDs. Well, uh, so Raito, probably not too happy about that. Bones, though, kind of sitting pretty. Um, hmm. Kind of was just able to play his game. Raito started to get a hang of it. I, I really didn't think he was doing really well. He just, you know, SD'd twice. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm interested to see how this, this match goes because um, if they're both at full force, I'm interested to see how it works. Absolutely. Well, I see, like, seeing seeing Raito play now, I, he was he started off with Ness and now is committed to Lucas. Really? So I I don't know why he made that change. I right. know that Ness is very, 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 like, in terms, just a very bread and buttery kind of character where you just do a couple of things, you get your damage. It's kind of easy to, to play and learn. So I wonder why he made the switch. Yeah. But ultimately, for Raito here, he really needs to just do his best to recompose himself, understand that, hey, like, it happens, let's get to the next game, and let's play. Right. Yeah, for sure. This would be, this would be interesting. Over and down throw there, instead of potentially just throwing him off stage and trying to get an edge guard. Okay. 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 Very interesting. Oh, don't know how that hit. Something must have happened. But that C4 taking that kill, a lot of snakes like to do it. They just come in, oh, drop the C4, fight. and then they out. They press down B and they're good to go. So Raid is going to have to take the stock. Otherwise, Bones is going to be able to sit pretty with some uh, with a lot of rage, especially in the lead. That's not where Raido wants to be. Yeah. Well, it's just doing a really good job just keeping him away, and running away, not getting hit. Covering a lot of his bases with grenade and C4. Yep. And Raito is just trying to find ways to get in and getting punished for doing so. Now, something I haven't thought of is I can't remember if... Down 
throw. He's gonna read it. Ooh, try to have a try to get a hard I'm read. I'm say there. this right now. That's never a good read. Why is you that? never, you never. That's never like if someone rolls into it, then they always, unless they're just bad, they're gonna have time to roll away. Or if like they're just stunned, you know. Oh, now that's a good call. Yep. He put that that uh, Nikita right in the middle. So right when he zoomed in, he got hit by it. But last stock for Aito here for the for a potential game. If he can't yep. get a comeback here, then that's gonna be that's gonna send him straight to losers. All right. But like you said, with, if there's a character that can beat, that can come back on Snake, it's a character that can heal, that can definitely can heal uh, his explosions like Lucas does. And yep. Lucas is just a really strong, surprisingly strong character in this game. Yep. Uh, just with uh, with DK Freeze being ridiculously strong and keep killing off stage from as low as 50 to just having really a really strong. Oh, oh. oh, he didn't have a jump, and so since he didn't have a jump, yep. he had good enough to be in time at least. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. And SD by Raito in that one yeah. too. I think Bones he panicked. Pretty solid though. Pretty I think. Solid game. Yeah. I think he, he he panicked really hard when he didn't have the jump. When he didn't have a jump, yeah. like his first instinct wasn't the pressed up B. It was just like, oh no, I don't have my jump. Like I can't get back on stage. Yeah. Lucas's recovery is just oh, it's it's awesome. really good. It's better than Ness's by far. Uh -huh. So, Woo! Look at Snake. looking so good. Gosh, <laughs> so fresh. <laughs> Such a cool character. Only cool people play that character. Oh man. As being the fourth best snake in uh, Georgia, dude. Yeah. I think cool. I think the coolest people are the ones that play Pac-Man. Who's the third best Pac-Man in Georgia right now? It's actually me. Oh, dude. I don't know if you're you the, that. you're the third best Pac-Man in Georgia. I've been the third best Pac-Man in Georgia for the last three years. So it's kind of hard to believe, but. Uh, Man, I'm talking it's to a celebrity truth. here, man. And we're about to have a really great match. We're about to have HTTPS and Del Fuego on stream. Oh, yeah, Del Fuego. We've now, got a I'm Pokemon Trainer versus, I think, Zelda. I don't know because he, like, the last time I checked, Del Fuego was maining Robin. He really wanted the main Robin. He really? liked the way she, that she played um, and just enjoyed playing the character in general. So. As a former Robin main, and as a person who still plays Robin to this day, I'm excited. If he plays Robin, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop off. Right. I'm gonna be very biased because I'm gonna pop off. I love. Oh, well, oh rip. The picture of us go. There you go, Mark. Get in here. Oh. All right, let me see if I can get a picture, too, since we're doing all that stuff. Oh, yeah. We got time. They are trying to set up all the... Oh, here we go. Awesome. Sick. Sick. Oh, well, that could, that could be better. Hold on. All right, last call for Willard. You need to... Uh. Willard, you have been the... Wait, that's the main... <laughs> I kind of got blocked. It's okay. That's chill. Ah, uh, John. Hey, what John Lee. Dude, person right behind me right now is probably the nicest guy in all of Georgia. Dude, Whoa. The number one nice. The number one. Wait, wait, yep. Like, wait a second, no, wait a second, dude. wait a second. <laughs> if I'm the third best Pac Man in Georgia, John's the number one nice guy in Georgia. Dude, absolutely. Second best Pac Man. Second best Pac Man. Pac -Man. Dude, <laughs> this man's Pac Man is actually kind of insane. Sick, this, like, out of out of Machi Tournament, which uh, which is hosted at Machi T Bar on Fridays from like around like five to come whatever. On out, come on out. Come on out. We always want to see new faces. Uh, this man, I play Lucina, right? This man plays Ness, and I was just ready to you know go in and just bully Ness with Lucina, just throw as many hitboxes as possible, right. like a regular old Lucina. This man switches Pac Man. He switches to Pac-Man, I'm just blown away. Yeah. Is it I'm literally just like, you play Pac-Man? Oh no, what do I do? And he just, he rolled over yeah, me. Man. It was like, he, I was easy money to him. Hey dude, it happens. It happens, dude. Dude. I'm really hoping to find out where the uh, the bracket is. Oh, there it is. Boom, they posted it. All right, so we got HTTPS versus Del Fuego. I wonder if that guy actually knows how, knows how to code in HTML. Weird question. <laughs> weird, weird thought. I don't know. I'm just a big old nerd. Oh. Ah, uh, looks like I'm. Oh no! Off. No! All My right. father. 
Oh, I'm not, you you're going to hold the fight? Oh, Georgia man, dude. Number one nice guy in Georgia is going to hold down the fort with me on commentary. Actually, I'm actually kind of curious. When's, hey, Kade, when's my next match? Oh, yeah, let, let me commentate first. And then oh, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, we are seeing Robin like I like I wanted. Nice. Okay. But hey, welcome, Jonas Lee, to the commentators. What's up? We, you have, it's like one ear, right? Yeah, one ear. Okay, okay cool. It's weird, but it's whatever. No but. worries. All right, I'm excited to see this because both of these are my boys. Obviously, we know Del Fuego, but uh, do you know who Hypertext is? I have no. I actually don't. Okay, I he like was a really him. like a pretty good Zelda in Smash Four. Kind of like. Uh, like he was like a little bit under the radar, but he was really good. And then in this game, he like has a really whoa, what the? <laughs> I don't know what that. Well, was. just speaking into yeah, this, he's just like setting up a crazy combo with up B into night. Yeah, he That's definitely insane. knows what he's doing. He's so, still going for it. He's like, it, it's crazy because it, it, the coverage is like pretty good. And yeah. It doesn't really seem super unsafe to be honest. Because as soon as he teleports, the knight covers where he's teleporting to. He's like using it as a movement option. It's actually crazy. I've never seen that. That's it's honestly so cool to see uh, people cover their bases like that, especially yeah. with characters that aren't really considered, you know, good at all. Yeah, it, I think he's considered like a low tier, at, like a low or mid tier at best. And in ways we we don't usually see either. Oh, but yeah, just, just charges a thorn and just throws nice it out there. Take first knock. Yeah, it was good of Jonathan there. Or sorry, don't forget to realize that he was probably like concerned with setting up his phantom so he just kind of like got the read on that and fired a quick thoron he's getting so many of these up b hits it's yeah. kind of insane hasn't finished off his sock yet oh my gosh he just missed that one that's crazy he's like he's yeah a, it's almost it, it feels like it's a sniper okay, oh that will kill him. yeah oh, man that's like probably is that the only thing that would have killed her besides like Thoron? What's up? Is that the only thing that would have killed her besides Thoron? Reflected? I feel like it is. Oh yeah, like like Elf Thunder is so much stronger in this game than it was before. And right. It comes out incredibly incredibly fast and covers such a farther range yeah. than it did in Smash 4. There was no reaction to that reflex for sure. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, okay, he did get punished for that. Oh. I was like, if you didn't get punished for that, I would be amazed because my real real quick interjection, my my heart kinda hurts. Del Fuego just down throwed into up air and he missed. Yeah. And in Smash 4, that yeah. was a lovely thing that was known as checkmate. Yeah, lo lovely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lovely, <laughs> uh, cheesy. <laughs> the Robin was still a low two character. Yeah. But just to. Uh, Robin, yeah. Yeah, it just it, it instantly killed at around 90 to 80. It, you get, like, if you got grabbed, you were guaranteed to get, get that up air and it would just kill always. And it was yeah. gross. But uh, Del Fuego would lead here. Ooh, oh, trying to get double heart fire. All right. Are you sitting in a comfortable lead here, so I like it. He just woo! Good, Good nice. job anticipating anticipating that Thoron by Del Fuego and pairing it. Okay. Oh nice. And if I project can get this Okay. Oh my gosh, that was geez. That was awesome. That was the only thing that would reach there. Goes for the hard edge yeah. guard, doesn't get it. Reflect not really working the way he wanted. And he's in trouble here at the ledge against Robin. Oh, wow, Del Fuego yeah, is doing a great job. Just punish, just calling out those knights coming out, and really that's punishing the his uh, weaker or um, ATGBS's weaker options. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, really smart of him to know like when Hypertext is going to commit to one of those options and just throw out the quick projectile to stuff it out or to stop it. Ooh, oh, nice. But crazy still got hit by the. Uh, still got by the. That that I think it was the thunder he threw out. Oh wow, that was weird. So much hits done from that. Okay, I know. So our last stock here, Hyper okay, Hyperjects put on some decent damage. But yeah, yeah. again, Del Fuego just knowing the, the Phantom is going to come out and anticipating hitting it with some projectile. Ooh, that was a risky teleport behind, but it oh, Ooh, oh almost called gosh. it out. But that was crazy. He did call it the spot touch, yeah. but Dushal B came out fast enough. Oh, man, that Especially was out ridiculously quickly, too. Yeah, and I love it. Hypertext using this as an escape option, approach option, teleport, like putting the Phantom and then teleporting yeah. where it's going to go. This is the Hoikos game to lose, and we have uh, frozen. We have, we, we have frozen. Hold on. Miles, it's frozen again. <laughs> All right, trying to get this fixed real quick. We're going to hear, like, game, game. Let's see what happens. It's always a surprise. Oh my gosh. Oh! Gant? Hypertext took that game. I don't know what he did to win that, but. Regardless. Crazy. It looked like he didn't honestly tack on much more percent. It was probably one like weird onstage interaction, yeah. got him off stage, and then maybe a good down air. We'll never know. But. <laughs> Hypertext in elite here, yeah. which kind of surprising looking at like he was down 
about like 100%, I think. Yeah, and but still, but did like did everything that he needed to keeping Robin in disadvantage. If there's one thing that um, that is Robin's calling, like Robin's just really a really bad thing about playing Robin uh -huh. is that Robin still has a really terrible command. He has really no landing options or better. Oh. Okay. Oh well, see you, John. <laughs> no, not the nicest guy in Georgia. No. Yes, please, someone join me in the commentary so I'm not alone. Please. Please. But uh, saying, speaking, just speaking about, about Robin again, just like, like Robin has a 14 advantage state. And so, like, um, and, and seeing the way that ATTPS was able to, was really able to just to keep Robin in the air and move and things like that, really difficult. Hey, welcome back. Frog Boy coming back into it. Mutilation. <laughs> hey, it was Man, Sonic Sonic is crazy. And he is insane. Sonic is always hard to fight against, too. I was talking to him afterwards, though, and apparently I was playing it, like, not to my strengths, I guess. Yeah. So I was trying to keep him out, but you can't really keep out Sonic. Uh, he was saying that you have to box out Sonic, like, in close quarters. I see, I see. But to, to go into this match right now, like, you know, uh, Delphi goes down a little bit, but Robin hits really hard. One good, one good, one good hit. Yeah, this is absolutely the first time I've ever seen this matchup. Oh yeah, but they kind of have similar characteristics, don't they? Like, oh yeah, absolutely. Both of them kind of slow magic users. Yeah. Both of them want want to try and keep you as far away as possible, and then come in when they know that they can get like a hit in like that. And one yeah. strong meaty F air. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, we'll take the first stock off ACTBS. Trying to think of Nosferatu there to call him out, but just uh, oh. All right, looks like I'm leaving oh, finally. Oh. I'm away. <laughs> hey, thanks for listening, everyone. I'll see you around. All right, a new solo commentary for a little bit. So I don't know about HTTPS, uh, but I know Del Flaco is a dedicated Robin main. These are not like secondary characters. Oops, my screen is frozen, so I could not tell you what's going on. Hey, Kamikaze. Kamikaze. Stream is stopped. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it looks like Zelda won at 2 0. I have nothing to say about it really. I didn't really see much, but rip to Del Play Go. Good stuff to HTTP. Sitting, sitting down right now. I'm relatively new to this scene, so. Is that Kamikaze's heading down there? This is Spiral Desora. Desora?
Kamikaze is playing down there on the stream. Playing in a new region has really got me thinking about uh, kind of bracket seeding being a uh, self-fulfilling prophecy. It's like, of course, it makes sense. You got to earn your respect in a new region, but it's frustrating to basically only have one match to work with because you play the the first seeds early in bracket. But regardless, enough complaining. Snake Mario! Yeah, Snake Mario. I can imagine Mario doesn't like this very much. Because he's a combo character that wants to kill relatively early. Uh, and Snake has that first frame grenade pull to get out of combos. That said, it does have an, in, an out to Nikita, which is an important feature for a character to have in their matchup versus Sting. Sting just racks up the damage so quickly. There haven't been that many interactions so far. And, uh, SD is already at 71%. Oh, we're pausing. Oh, he's taking the stock though. Good sport. What's up, Frog Boy? How's it going? This is Jonas Lee yo, yo. on the mic once again. We're watching Top Gear Snakes uh, fight Mario. Yeah, um, both these players are pretty good. Like, Spiral Disorder is probably not as well of a known, not as well known of a name as Kamikaze, okay. but. Um, First time I played him, he like <laughs> very much surprised me with his tune link. And it's okay. Mario, so I don't know. It's been, it's been a while since I played him, so I don't know if like switch characters or what, but uh, he's a good player for sure. So. Well, he seems like he's holding his own pretty yeah. well right now. Yeah, I, I've, I've never just, seen this match. I was just commenting on how, how quickly Snake racks up damage, though, even though they kind yeah. of trade. Yeah, like, trade, trades are going to be losing, <laughs> losing for Mario like almost all the time, so it's tough. It's tough no, to be. No, I'm still. But like, I mean, fireballs can set up grenades, so that's something. Something yeah. interesting, I guess. I was just saying that uh, he also has a cape. He has, he has an out to Nikita, which is pretty important. Yeah, in he his snake matchup. Right, he has some interesting tools, like in this matchup specifically. Like, if he can read a high recovery, a B will probably kill. And even if he doesn't read it, like if he's able to catch it. Yeah. A B's ability to kill off the top is like pretty I mean, Snake nominal. Snake kind of wants to be up there to recover. Anyway. So right. He can call out a bad one. Yeah, exactly. So that, oh, oh wow, that, that was, was crazy. Kind of sick. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Grenade pull, shield to drop it, uh, combo into back air. Yeah. Kind of reminiscent of uh, of like Peach or Rob or. I don't know. Who else has a good? Just item using like the projectile that? to yeah to, pop to set up. up some kind of aerial. Guaranteed. For sure. Yeah. Snake's like lasting hitboxes is not even the most unsafe thing to like go for that read, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, good first game. Winners of round two. Or, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I can read, I promise. Nice. Stop oh. oh sorry. Uh, I was gonna say maybe that tune link will come out, but you had the had the insider scoop. That's my opponent. We don't know where he is. All right. Uh, yeah. Cool. I think this is like character he's more comfortable with, and I don't think this matchup is a awful. It's not the best, but um, Tuning has like the tools to kind of like not play Snake's game. You know, yeah. like he can run away and throw stuff, and Snake like has to go in a little bit because grenades aren't like the best projectile. So, of course, when Snake does get in, it's a little crazy. I know Tuning has. Confirmed to like forward air and back air off bombs. Yep. Uh, I don't know how quickly those kill though, especially not a heavy character like Snake. Yeah, it'll take a lot unless they're off stage. 
Uh, I wonder, you know, but maybe if he reads like a grenade explosion correctly, he can re react similarly to how he would with a bomb. Yeah, so I mean, it's certainly working out for him so far. I mean, yeah. This is the first time he hasn't been in a deficit the whole set. For sure. So it could, could work out. I don't know. We'll see. Jimmy has interesting arrows. I think they like, serve a much different purpose than, uh, the young than adult lane. Oh, young yeah. Lane. yeah. They're like big and kind of slow moving. It's almost like a uh, street fighter ass. A little, little bit of a hazard. You like, you kind of force you to jump. Yeah. Because they're sit not like a killing option, really, right? You know? Yeah, definitely not. Oh, that was sick. He like made him. He kept him to hit stun until the bomb exploded on him. That was good. Yeah, because young links are kind of like a kill setup tool. Oh, they definitely are. And yeah. uh, links can kill. <laughs> yeah, links That's can kill. It. They have to be charged up a little bit. Frog here, boy. All right. Here. Go get him. Is he calling you? Kevin. 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 Oh, we're missing we'll, we'll figure it out in a sec. <laughs> so I would start with the lead here. I don't get DQ'd from the tournament. Yeah. Game. Yeah, these tournaments have a ton of entrance, so it can get a little hectic. Uh, doing our best yeah, here. If you're, not, if you're not prompt about responding, they'll DQ you. <laughs> Which, no is, which is good. So no, definitely good. Make sure it's not here. Oh my gosh, in the back end of Boomerang, I think he charged up smash for a little bit too long. Maybe just like really wanted to finish off that sock, but he didn't need to. If he had just let it let it rip uh, yeah. immediately, it would have been sock. So here he's like kind of actually in a bad situation because he's going to need some sort of confirm to kill Snake at this percent. Maybe not be out of shield. Oh yeah, there we go. Or a raw hit like that, where a yeah. snake at that percent could just up tilt and get the kill. <laughs> Stop reading the future. That's crazy. Kevin, this frog boy is All right. All right. Go good luck. Again. I'll be back. Can you get over? Cool. All right. Alright. Let's see. I also I turned away and spiral is at a disadvantage now for the first time this set. Here. Why don't you yeah, we're good. Switch mics. I All got right. joined by Exarch here. I'm back. Back. Hydro Seco. Man. I'm frustrated at myself, but yeah. it was a fun set. So I was playing Tim Buzzler. Tim Buzzler, right, yeah. Yeah, who's one of the best Luigi's in, in, uh, in Georgia. And uh, played him really well with Lucina game one, but like I just got too greedy in my head cards because he's Luigi and I'm Lucina. I'm Did you get like, like upbeat gimped or something? Yeah, I got upbeat gimped. It happens. I teched the first one, but then he back aired me, and then like he up he gimped me, but I could I could have still recovered, but I air dodged in. I oh, air no. dodged. That's and the worst. he ended up just winning. Yeah. And happens. so I was just like, look, I'm going to go Ganon, and you have to beat me, or I will beat you. Okay. <laughs> it was a close match, too. It was really close. He called you again just now. Oh. All right, this game so close here. <laughs> no. So Spiral really? just well, it in a really bad place here. You're like, you literally can't get touched. If he gets grabbed, I believe he's dead with this oh, yeah. much rage. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, so he kind of needs to get a straight hit. That was a great footstool. Get him out of a bad situation. Yeah, he's holding his, hold his own here, hasn't gotten hit yet, and he's still racking on damage. Whoa. And oh my gosh. It's crazy. Okay. Oh my goodness. He's Excellent. Such a bad location. That was a perfect backer, though, rising. Yeah. So it's totally safe. And Get him with the yeah. last, that's the last thing inbox I've ever, and that's going to be game one. Game two. Game, was it game two? Yeah, that was game two. Oh, okay. uh, what's up? It's 1-1. 1-1 one, one. One, one yeah. right now? Okay. Yeah, we missed the score for the first yeah, one, but the first been, one hasn't been updated yet. So the I first one was uh, Spiral Disorder's Mario, and it didn't quite work out. It was not too bad, but uh, going back to his main Toon Link, so it seems to be working. Yeah, it was. I mean, it's really close, but he won, so it's working. <laughs> oh, he's going Yoshi. All right. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'll leave you to this commentary, right. and I'm gonna go play my match. So good luck. Yeah, this switch makes sense for sure because I mean, it seemed like. Even though Snake has so much stage control, it seemed like he was kind of at the will of Spiral Disorder's Toon Link there. And Spiral was able to like rack on damage, even a high percent, without really feeling too contested by Snake's moveset. So the Yoshi switch makes sense here. These two are friends, so I'm sure that this matchup has been played 
a few times, and I would be surprised if Kamikaze's Yoshi had, did win. So, yeah, a little early on that up smash. Yoshi always has that down B to escape that type of situation. It's never really a 50-50 with Yoshi, even in uh, Smash 4 when those were more prevalent. Oh, nice. Bomb to disadvantage the forward air instead of a true combo. Oh, yeah, Kamikaze looking for that way to hit someone off stage. He's always looking for that. Uh, something that's super, super good for Yoshi in this game is just his ability to like either get a rising nair to put you in a tech chase situation, or for him to get like that falling nair to put you off stage and then edge guard you because Yoshi's so mobile in the air. What are we it's, talking about? Uh, Yoshi's game plan. Yoshi's game plan is just to spike you with his big nose as he did there. I was saying Yoshi's game plan is kind of like when you're at like 80 or whatever or anything past that, he hits you off stage with there and capitalizes or hits you with like a, a rising there or something or, or like a whatever that puts you in a tech chase situation. Yeah. And they'll jab lock you F smash. And F smash kills insanely early. So that's kind of what you got to look look out for. The, that fat long lasting nair from Yoshi. Yeah, and it's and it's also kind of hard to the keep him out. At least it's it seems like it would be easy, you know. But he's kind of he's fast in the air. Yeah, but he's, he's he's very fast in the air. I think he's probably like one of the best air speeds in the game. And he's got and incredible then, like like just hitboxes in every direction. And then also he could uh approach not approach you, but he could put pressure from afar too with that egg, you know. Yeah. I mean, just kind of condition you to hold shield and just yeah. a whole bunch of other dishes out of its place. It's like a it's a character that can like force you to come in and then once you come in like totally screw you for it. Yeah, correct, correct. So there's a ledge trap situation. Well, you know, I was thinking about ledge traps. There's not too much he could do besides just kind of throw an egg out. To ledge trap as Yoshi? Yeah. yeah. Uh, a, a favorite one of Yoshi players, especially Miles, is to sit in shield and then like you just react. Just react. <laughs> so yeah. So if you if you neutral get up, get up attack or jump, he can react with an arrow to shield, and you can't. You're never gonna shield poke him, right? Yeah. Um, and if his shield gets too low from you laying on the ledge, he can just hit you or, ro or roll away. Uh, and if you roll, he can react. I. It might be one of his weaknesses that yeah. he doesn't always react to it, but he definitely can. You know, so like all the well, two out of the three leagues have the same ugly. You know, and I, I forget that two leagues, you know, kills because he, he reminds me sort of like young Link. Link's kills too. Yeah. Yeah. Link is really good. But uh, not like that. Like, not like this. <laughs> spin all the way around you, suck him in, and yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. You know who we haven't seen much of lately? That one too that made a fight rise early in the beginning. Oddma Bob? Yeah. And now it seems like Spider the Sora. He smacked here. me, I know that. <laughs> he's actually keeping it really competitive here with Company. No, yeah, Spider the Sword is a great player, I think. And he's going his main, you know, so. Oh, wow. Like if that had str all strung together, but we, we see the percent, and look at this, he's running away with this. Yeah. Opts for a quick landing with down air to reset the situation and a slight advantage. And he's kind of in trouble here. Oh, definitely in trouble. Oh my gosh, really in trouble. Uh, if he's able to get back down. Okay, he always has down air. But, oh, this is risky. Yeah, but. With, at this percent? Job. Yeah, yeah. At this. Yeah, so. I'll, 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 I'm thinking, like, at this percent, Yoshi has, like, a huge advantage because. Nothing Spiral can do well, outside of... Well, he's at 120 there. I don't want okay, to, you know. so he can up smash out of shield, or he can up B like that, up out of shield, but yeah. All right. Does anything Kamikaze would have done? Oh, that was actually insanely risky, but it worked, I guess. If, if, like, if Spiral had opted for the downer there? Potentially. potentially I don't know. Downer. I mean, that's a risky option, too, so I guess Kamikaze just assumed he wouldn't pick it. And it worked out for him, so... Yeah. Take that. But Take at that, that like at that percent, when when you're in disadvantage, Yoshi's scary because he can get to where you are, and like just stick a narrow, and then you're off stage, and then you're in trouble. So yeah, and then that might, that kind of goes against like Tuning's plan, at least you know. Yeah. Trying to keep you out, um, but at high percent, you know he's looking for kills and stuff like that. So it is what it is. Good job on Kamikaze taking it. 2-0. Kevin, let's play dubs. I just want to play dubs. Dubs? What's Dubs. That? I just play, uh, actually don't play, I, I just commentate. Same. Commentator. Well, this matchup's huge. Yes, oh, doubles time. Alright, both commentators leaving.